Hey everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing and showing you something I recently picked up from Goodwill Finds. What I really love about this website is that you can basically thrift online in case you don't have any Goodwill stores or thrift stores near you. I feel like this is definitely a great option. Now one thing I do want to note, if you are living in Canada like myself, you most likely will have to pay for shipping unless they have a promotion going on. Also you may end up having to pay duties. so. Just keep that in mind when you are purchasing. So as you guys can see right off the bat, it is a purse that I got. And if you can already tell, it is a Fendi purse. So when I first saw this, I was super excited about it. And I definitely wanted to pick it up because it was on sale for such a great price. It's definitely a good find because finding vintage bags in fair conditions or good conditions is kind of hard. Um, it did come packaged very nice. It just to let you know that it is authentic and that they do go ahead and check to make sure before selling it so i'm really happy that they include this in case you do want to eventually resell or whatever the case is at least you have proof that it is authenticated overall as you guys can see the condition of the purse itself is actually amazing the only thing that i would say is of concern is basically the strap it is breaking it is cracking but that is very common with these bags especially since they are vintage and the straps are leather so unfortunately that will eventually happen and also around the trim it is slightly peeling but overall it's still in really really great shape there's no really major scuffs on the front of the purse or on the back so i was really happy about that as you can also see the previous owner had it tied in a loop which a lot of people do because the strap is actually quite long I decided that i'm actually going to want to swap out the original strap i'll still hold on to it but i'm not going to use it it has plate inside and then it also has its date stamp code on the inside over here in the corner <laughs> So now that I've gotten rid of the straps, as you can see, definitely look a lot better because there's not all that peeling stuff shedding. But technically if I want to, I can also use this as like a little pouch or if I wanted to use this as like more of a clutch, definitely can do that. But instead I do have some straps from Next Fashion, which I'm super excited to be working with them in collaboration. And I can now transform my purse and just improve the way that I can wear it. Not only can I do that with this purse, but I can also do it with a few others, which I will show you. <music> What is really great about Next Fashion is that you can actually customize the chain to your likings, whether you want to be using this type of clasp, whether you want to be using a round one, a bigger one, a smaller one, it's really up to you. And you can also get some of the straps in silver in case you don't necessarily want a gold one. But overall, the quality and the feel of the chains is amazing. It's not too heavy. It's not going to be weighing down your shoulder and making you feel uncomfortable. It's just going to be perfect. I was afraid and a little skeptical because I wasn't sure how heavy it would be because chains can be heavy after a while, but overall, the ones that I have honestly are very nice and lightweight, but you can tell that they are really good quality. What's really nice is that the gold is very, very similar to the gold on my Fendi purse, so I feel like it will match perfectly. So it fits perfectly on this, which I love. It's not too small and it's just big enough, but if I wanted to go for a bigger one, I definitely had that option. As you guys can see, this is the beautiful Fenty Vintage purse that I have. And as I mentioned, it's in really good shape. The only downside I would say was the original strap that it came with. It did have a lot of peeling. So the fact that now I have a new way to style it with this beautiful chain, I feel like it gives it definitely a more dressy or elevated um, look, which is really nice. So this is the mini dashing roller chain that I currently have on this bag and it also is in 36 inches. This other chain that I have is the braided purse chain and this one also is in the 36 inches. So the next strap that I have, I put it on my LV pochette 
and I thought this was just perfect. I really love this design. This is the old purse chain, actually my shortest one, and honestly, I'm really happy that I ended up getting this style and also this length. This is 28 inches, and what I really love about this one is that it is also very lightweight, but I like that this length is honestly very perfect for purses like this. I find it fits very nicely on my shoulder, more so as like a shoulder bag. This matches this purse specifically perfectly. So I'm definitely really happy about this one. And I think by far, this is probably my favorite chain out of all of them. And the last shop I have is called the Mini Curb. So this one actually isn't as long as the other ones. This one is 32 inches. So a little longer than the last one I just showed you. But overall, this is like your very classic style. But like I said, if you want to customize the lengths that you are getting when you are purchasing you definitely can and i like that they do make it a lot easier in case you don't have a measuring tape you can basically see what your typical size would be if you are a certain height so at least you can get an idea from that so i really like that they do offer that on the website and they basically do the work for you that basically completes my video i hope you guys found this helpful definitely check out goodwill finds along with next fashion in case you are interested in any of the items that i show you today i will leave them down below in the description box along with the coupon code for any purse straps that you are looking for and i'll see you all in my next one bye